Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I study for like a university exam. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna film that, but this week I have two anatomy exams. They are both open book EMQ exams and we are allowed to take in resources or notes. Uh, the only thing we're not allowed are electronic devices. They seem easy in theory, but they're actually really hard. I had my exam on Monday and which is today and I have another one on Wednesday and I am going to show you how I study for an anatomy exam or especially how I study for an open book exam. These were the notes that I took for today's exam. Um, as you can see, I took a lot of things, but in the exam you actually don't have that much time to look at all these resources. Our exam was a 45 minute exam with 40 questions. In theory, you would think that you'll be able to search each and every question in the resources that you bought with you, but the questions are very obscure and it's very hard to find them in your notes. And it's very hard to find them quickly. And this was my first time giving an open book exam. So what I learned through this was actually study for an open book exam just like any other exam. To make it easier for myself to actually figure out what no notes contained what, I actually made this table of contents and I numbered it and then I numbered the tags. So that made it easy for me to actually search through my notes during the exam. And I think if you have an open book exam as well, I really recommend like organizing your notes because if you didn't have time to study or learn the whole course, then <laughs> it's better to save as much time as you can. I also took all the past papers and past questions with me and I'm hoping that if there was any common question that came up I will be able to quickly look through the answer but sadly none of those um, questions came up in the exam again for anatomy especially because we have a lot of muscles taking a table like this I don't know if you can see properly which has muscle, the attachment, the innervation, the actions and blood supply in a table makes it easier to actually find that information. So all of this was actually for today's exam. But now I'm gonna start preparing and studying for the Wednesday exam and I'm hoping that I am better prepared for it. I guess this is just the reality of med school or generally any school or college you're going to. No matter how much you try to portray you have done or you are, you know, so prepared, I end up always finding myself not as much prepared as I, was, as I would have liked to when the exams come near so the way I'm gonna tackle preparing for the next exam is I'm actually gonna focus on topics that didn't come up in today's exam I've already prepared a list of it on my iPad my plan is to actually make a document going into more detail about these topics and actually making like an all-powerful document that has all these topics in one place so it's easier for me to search through them during the exam so yep
arms rise at night and settle back down at sunrise. No worries, please get back early Head out with champagne and dresses and let's get curly That's a no worries, please get back early Head out with champagne and dresses and let's get curly
Yes, I'm finally done with my anatomy exam. So my thoughts on the whole experience. Um, this was my first time giving an open book exam and I kind of um, didn't have a clue on how it's gonna be like. I've said this before and I'm just gonna say it again. I kind of underestimated how uh, much material was gonna be in. When you think about an open book exam, you think, oh, that means I can like get away with not studying because I have all the notes I need. But the thing with the open book exam is that the information is so obscure or either so detailed that the time needed for you to find that is so long that you'll be done with the time. But the time management thing is a huge problem because my exam was 45 minutes and it was 40 questions. And if you think about it, it's gonna be like one minute per question, but because it takes such a long time to find the answer for that one question, you end up spending more than one minute on a question. You end up, you know, not finishing it on time. I will be, you know, for future reference, I will know how to do that. But looking back, I found today's exam, I was more prepared for it because I already had experienced it once before and I, and I knew the topics that I wanted to focus on. You know, the, the way I studied over the last two days actually helped me prepare for the topics that were gonna come up. So yeah, I'm so happy I'm done with this. I can finally relax today, um, watch like an episode of my favorite k-drama and you know i kind of celebrated with my friends because you should always reward yourself for doing all the work you did <laughs> and it's healthy to take a break and it's healthy to actually you know take time out and go out and take a like a breather and relax that's what i try to do so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that you learned something about how the exams go and i will see you in the next video bye hey feeling good